All right, I'm going to show you how to do a text reveal. Um, what that means is that as something passes on the screen or just when you want the text to appear, that it appears bit by bit. Um, and we're going to tie this into our what if project. So I've got video of a tooth fairy. I'm going to drag in a part of that that I want and just drop it here on my timeline. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to figure out where I want my text to appear. So I'm going to have it appear sort of here as the fairy flies past. And I'm going to get my blade tool. Uh, we're going to cut this piece up just to make it easier to figure out where we want things to start and end. Um, so I want it to cut just before we see the fairy fly across. So I'll cut here, scrub across, and here our fairy kind of reaches the other side of the screen. Then I'm going to add the text. So I'm going to go up here and click on my text tool. I'm just going to use um, some plain text, nothing with an effect, just the basic title. And I'll drop it in here like that. And then I'm going to edit that text by clicking it, double clicking it. Um, if I need to push over here on, on the T. And then we'll change it to what if the very were real and I can of course change my font to whatever I'd like and change its size to whatever I'd like um, what I'll do is make sure that at the end of the tooth fairy flying the text doesn't go beyond where she starts and finishes okay looks good all right so we're gonna edit this portion of the video now um, and we're going to do that by drawing a mask on it. So to find this, I'm going to click on, this is a, an effect. So I'm going to click here on my effects browser, this little button right here, or um, view or window. I'm just looking to see if there's a way to, another way to show or hide it. Anyway. Uh, pushing this button, that's our effects browser. So I'm going to pick up my draw a mask and I'm going to drop it just on this portion of my video. Or sorry, I'm going to drop it on my text. I apologize. So I'll drop it on my text. When I do that, I don't really see anything change. I'm going to click here, however, on the text and it says click to add a control point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around my text over here. I'm going to start farther away from the words. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we draw a box around our words, but that the red line that appears never crosses or goes through. I'm not going to put very many down here at the bottom or very many at the top as I pass by, but I'm going to put maybe four along this edge so that I have a little more control. And it's really important that as you reach the end, that you click on the original um, control point and you'll see it changes from being a plus to being a zero. That means it's creating a full circle. All right, so I have my control points drawn around my text. Now what I'm going to do is click up here on this, sorry, on this, and I'm going to scroll up and down this list till I find my draw mask. That's what we've just done. We've drawn a mask. Uh, I want to find the control options for that and I'm going to click invert. What that does is it hides the title. We're going to slowly reveal it as the fairy flies past. Now I'm going to scrub in my timeline with my thing here all the way back to the start of this clip and I'm going to pinch out so that this clip is um, fills more of my timeline. I'm going to make sure that I can see the one end here and one end here. And then I'll click and make sure it's right at the start. Then I'm going to use my keyboard arrows to jog along the timeline. And when I see a point where my fairy has flown past a control point, I'm going to move that control point. Back here, I'm going to add a keyframe. That's what this button does. A keyframe lets you say that at this exact frame of video, I want this exact thing to happen and then it draws all the frames in between. So I'm going to add a keyframe. 
then I'm going to move my control points so that they're sort of stuck to the back of the fairy. Just like that. Now there's no text revealed yet, but don't worry. We're going to continue jogging along. Again, I'll click on my timeline with my keyboard and jog along with my keyboard frame by frame. And again, I just move the control points so that they're sort of stuck to the back of the fairy. And again, I'll click on my timeline. Oops, I did a big jump there. I shouldn't have done that. Let me just jump back until the control points are stuck on the fairy. There we go. And I'll jog along with my keyboard. And as soon as I see that happen, I push my keyframe, add a keyframe, move my control points. Now sometimes when you're moving the control points, you accidentally click on your text like this. And then it makes it hard to control the control points instead it makes you control the text. To make sure you're moving only the control points and not the text, you push the letter P on your keyboard and then you can move those control points. Here we go. So like I said, I've got about four here. That lets me sort of stick to the back of the Tooth Fairy. And now I'm going to click back over here and just keep jogging along till I see her move. And again, make sure I'm in my draw mask box, add a keyframe, move control points. Jog along, add a keyframe, move control points. And it's just a matter of every time the fairy moves, make sure you're moving those control points. And now that we've reached the end and all the text is revealed, I can pinch back in. As I scrub over the timeline, you can see it happening there, but let's play that portion of the video back to see what it looks like. Ooh, it looks like the fairy is making the words appear. So that's how you do a text reveal. And it could be something flying past like the tooth fairy, like a bird, like someone walking, like something rolling, like a car, like anything, basically any movement. But it doesn't have to be the, a movement of an object, but it looks super cool when it is paired with the movement of an object across the screen.